Good morning. My name is Bridget Harrison and this is my colleague Tom Booth. And your names are? I'm Olin. Olin. And I'm Rodrigo. Thank you. Um, could I have your mark sheets, please? Now, first of all, we'd like to know something about you. Where are you from, Olin? I'm from Zurich in Switzerland. Thank which you. Is the biggest city. Thank you, and you, Rodrigo. I come from Argentina. Although I live in the capital, I'm from another city in the north of the country. Are you working or studying at the moment, Rodrigo? Well, I finished university and I worked while I studied, but now I'm taking kind of a year off and studying a little bit. And you, Olin? Um, well, I haven't been to university yet, but I'm also taking a gap year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Um, do you have much opportunity to travel, Olin? Yes, luckily I have. <laughs> um, I have travelled a lot with my parents. We've seen a lot. But also, um, my school offers a lot, a lot of trips around Europe, not to other parts of the world, but that's still a nice opportunity to have. Mm -hmm. And, um, Rodrigo, how good are you at organising your time? Oh, that's a good question. I think I'm pretty good, but sometimes I get I keep uh, putting off things till the end and procrastinating and doing that kind of stuff. I try to set deadlines, but sometimes I find it quite difficult. Yes. Thank you. Now, in this part of the test, you're going to do something together. Here are some pictures of people in different situations. First, I'd like you to look at picture A and C and talk together about how common these situations are in your country. You have about a minute for this, so don't worry if I interrupt you. Okay. Well, first I think this looks, the first picture looks like a square with some restaurants, with some restaurants and people having dinner outside. Is that common in your country? Uh, no, not in Switzerland. <laughs> it's a little too cold for that. Mm. <laughs> I think it's more typical Italian or Spanish. Well, that's the reason because in Argentina we have a very big Italian influence. So we have this kind of restaurants and we have dinner outside, in, usually in squares or in, or in parks or just next to the road. It's well, quite I'd love common. to have it more often in Switzerland. Yeah. Um, how about the second picture? The second picture, well, it's just, uh, well, I'm just looking at his face and I think he might be oriental it's in some place where they're just selling fish or, I don't know, maybe they just fished them. And Thank you. Okay. Now look at all the pictures. I'd like you to imagine that a television documentary is being produced on working in the food industry. These pictures show some of the issues that are being considered. Talk together about the different issues related to working in the food industry that these pictures show. Then decide which issue might stimulate most interest. You have about three minutes to talk about this. Well, it's an interesting topic, isn't it? <laughs> First, Hot and cold drinks. I, here in Cambridge, I've seen these stalls selling or either crabs or another kind of stuff, and I think they're pretty common around the world. Do you think that this picture is, uh, is quite useful or will catch attention of the readers? Um, well, it's re well, it shows, uh, it represents, uh, I think, the whole fast food economy, mm -hmm. which might not be representative for the whole food industry, but it's still a very important aspect of it. Um, comparing that picture, for example, to picture A, which is more, which reflects a whole different atmosphere and a whole different aspect. It also includes more like the service aspect of the food industry that's not just about food. I agree because Picture B is more fast food, something quickly in the move, whereas picture A is more like enjoying a meal, a social event, 
So yeah, I think you're absolutely right about it. And how about picture D? Um, well, <laughs> it contrasts picture B because it shows the, uh, the natural aspect of food, which has become very rare, I think. Yeah, it is quite difficult to find fair trade products and things like that. But what caught my attention was that picture A and B are about eating, and picture D and C are more about producing food. Yeah, you're right. I, yeah. had, I had noticed. I think it's right. So, and picture C is, do you like fish? <laughs> <laughs> because it's like yeah. that yes, I do. Um, but just as picture D, I think this is a, something that becomes more rare, because mm -hmm. most often now it's big factories producing food and uh, doing fish. But I think that small shops are become become more and more rare, and you can't see them that often anymore. Yeah, that's true. So I would say that if we have to choose like a main picture. Would I would choose between A or D? I, do you agree with me, or do you think do you have another opinion? Yeah, I think no. I think you're right, but I think that picture A combines more aspects than picture D, maybe, because it shows the whole business, not just the production of food, but also how it is served and how okay. people get in contact with it. Yeah, I agree with you. I think picture A is. Thank you. Out. Can I have the booklet, please? Thank you. Now, in this part of the test, you're each going to talk on your own for about two minutes. You need to listen while your partner is speaking because you'll be asked to comment afterwards. Olin, I'm going to give you a card with a question written on it, and I'd like you to tell us what you think. There are also some ideas on the card for you to use if you like. All right? So here is your card. Please let Rodrigo see the card. And remember, Olin, you have about two minutes to talk before we join in. No, I think it's a really interesting question. Um, well, of course, it's a very personal question. <laughs> um, well, for me personally, I prefer taking, making my own decisions. Um, well, obviously I ask other people for their advice, but at the end I think it's very important that you decide on something because you are convinced by it and not because someone else um, convinced you for that or persuaded you to take something else. Um, because you always have to be able to stand up to it and to defend your own opinions and you can only do, do so if you actually decided to do it by yourself and did the whole thinking process for yourself. Um, now that I see the recommendations, um, I see that they contrast education and work and during education I suppose that it's much more important to take others' advice probably from your teachers and from your parents because they have had more experience than yourself and sometimes they even know you better. <laughs> Most of all when you're just during puberty. <laughs> so they might take the more, um, the more uh, decisions with a better base. Um, in work it's really important to be a team player and to always take into account many different opinions and not just to try to push forward your own thoughts. And um, Rodrigo, ge yeah. generally speaking, do you think you are a decisive person? Yes, I am. Yeah, I think, although I like to hear some advice, usually from my parents, I like just to ask them and have at least her, their point of view so I can just gauge what I want to do and myself. Yeah. How about you, Colin? No, me personally. Um, yeah, no, I, well, if people, yeah, no, my parents always want the best for me, so I always have to take their opinion into account. Um, yeah, but at the end, it's still my own decision. Mm -hmm. 
Nothing is going to change that. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Rodrigo, it's yes. your turn to be given a question, and here is your card. Mm -hmm. Please let Olin see your card, and remember, Rodrigo, you have about two minutes to tell us what you think, and there are some ideas on the card for you to use if you like. All right? Okay. So the question is about how much are people's decision influenced by the media? I think nowadays, uh, since we have television and internet, everything is somehow related to the media and different, way, different ways of communication and networks. Mainly the spending habits, as I said here, uh, we can, because since we live in a like a consumption society and a consumption way of living in a society, we like to follow some, I, I don't know if I would call them rules, but we are somehow influenced by advertising, advertisement and ways of advertising. So I think it's very much influenced by media or Facebook, for example. Facebook at the beginning used to be just about talking to people or meeting them or just having fun. But nowadays you enter and the first thing that you see, they're just advertisements or ads about different, I don't know, shampoo or trips or university education. So it's really comprises of a immense variety of things, a really wide range. And about current affairs, when we read the newspapers or we watch television, it's like you have like different point of view. You have left-wing newspapers as opposed to right-wing. You have more central ones. So I think we are always influenced, and it is quite different to quite difficult to find yourself with uh, a strong opinion or something, and not being biased by the society. And how much are people's decision influenced by the media? About entertainment, I think, for example... Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. And, um, Olin, what kind of decisions need to be made before TV programmes are broadcast to children? Well, <clears throat> one has to decide whether they are adequate for small children. It always depends on their age, and not just concerning violence, but also other aspects that small children might not be mature enough to uh, to think about and to realize what it means. Do you agree, Rodrigo? I agree and also I've, I've noticed that it used to be more controlled that but nowadays even you have more, like more a strong scenes, you can find stronger scenes in TV just in early hours or in the afternoon, which sometimes it strikes, I think, or catch, catches my attention. Thank you. Yeah. Now to finish the test, we're going to talk about decisions in general. Nowadays, there are so many products to choose from that it's impossible to choose. To what extent do you agree? Well, it, it's been, the first thing that came to my mind was when I go to the supermarket just to do some shopping and you want to buy, I don't know, for example, a product, just say coffee, and you have so many different brands and you have some of them are fair trade and other ones are cheaper and from different countries you have such a big variety. What do you, do you feel the same or? I actually feel mostly overwhelmed <laughs> when I'm in the supermarket. Um, yeah, no, it, on the one hand, it's really nice to have this variety and to be mm -hmm. able to choose from so many different products, also from different origins and, as you said, fair trade, yes. price. Um, yeah, but I mostly feel overwhelmed and for me it's actually a little too much. <laughs> Who should decide how taxes are spent? Government ministers or local people? Wow, that's a good question. <laughs> I think 
I don't know if I can make a decision right now, but on one hand, I think the as a inhabitant or inhabitants of a city, we have our we can make our own decisions. But on the other hand, when we vote and we, we have elections, we choose the people that we who are going to represent us. So I don't know. I, I think, what is your opinion about this? Well, I believe in democracy, so I think <laughs> it's the local people who should decide what the government does with their own money. Because taxes come from the people, so they should be the ones to decide what's going to happen with it. Yes, but I believe in democracy as well, but <laughs> democracy also involves choosing some people who are going to represent yeah. us in some way, so I find it tricky to decide no, right. well, how to come to terms with that. It probably depends on how big the population is and in what society you are. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Yeah. Why do jobs that involve taking difficult decisions appeal to some people? You want to start? <laughs> okay, I can start. Particularly in my case, I like freedom, so I like taking my own decisions, and I, don't, I know that if I make a mistake, it's my own fault, and I don't like just being told what I have to do. I prefer to have my space and making my own, my own decisions, basically. And you? Well, it's also a challenge to take own decisions and not to be dependent on others and to let others control yourself. It's, so every step is a little challenge. Yeah, I like that idea. I like challenges. I, I like to push myself yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's the end of the test. Yeah, thank you.